Hello YouTube, my name is Jess134 and this is just a redstone circuitry idea for Etho's storage room dispensers. I'm just demonstrating here, this is the old 5 clock. I am playing now beta 1.3 <coughs> and this is how you used to have to hello. This is how you used to have to do things. That is the average five clock. Working like a five clock does. <laughs> I now I think I might have created a alternative, a new age version. In the beta 1.3. This is almost it. <laughs> I'm actually running out of redstone, so I've got to use this. Get my way. Why is so many sheep? Um, so, this is what I think is the replacement of a 5 clock. Not really a replacement, though. It's another way of doing it. Probably the more used way in the future. But, um... Is just a normal five clock. Really, it does the same thing at about the same speed. Although it is different, though, because I, I wouldn't call it a five clock so much as it is an adjustable compact five clock. Because you can do this now with the new redstone blocks. Uh, what are they? When sheep aren't in your way. You can uh, use the redstone repeater, and I can make the beat go slower now. So I can actually change the speed without having to build anything, which is quite nifty. But that's not the big thing. Well, that is pretty big, but that's not what I wanted to show you. What I wanted to show you guys is an invention. And if this thing will stop doing its thing. Yes, this is mainly directed at Ether of the Ethos Labs. Um, and yeah, so here's a bit of a trial. Turn it off. That should be off. Now this is using what would be referred to as a two clock, I think, because it uses two of these. But it's not really because it can change. Um, anyway, this is could be built underground, like you've done in your, like Ito has done in his uh, for his monster trap. He's added some note blocks and redstone circuitry underground. This could all be done underground and then lead up the redstone to the dispenser, but it would probably take, it would be probably really complicated for all the dispensers you've got in the storage room. Anyway, um, this is how it would work. This is cobblestone for example. I'm going to put this here so we can count how much I get in one hit. This is just wired normally. This this doesn't need to be included, the note block that's just there to show the speed. In fact, I'll just do that. <laughs> we don't need the note block. If chickens get out of your way, get out of here. Lay an egg or something, go on. Do I have to kill you? Seriously. Seriously. Go. Whoop. Thank you. Th yeah, you go away. <laughs> Sorry about that. Anyway, so this is how it would work. You click it once. I think we got. Well, I don't know actually. And if it stays on, it just keeps going. But you turn it off, went down. 
so it is in the off mode or off position when it is down and on and we'll keep giving you your blocks when the lever is up you could use the pressure pad that you've done I think but I think the lever works better because you do have to reset it essentially this is resetting the two two clock <laughs> I don't even know if that's the right um, language or thing to call it but anyway that's how it works and it gives you when I take out the feathers in one hit it'll give you where is that stuff going if you keep it on and switch it again sorry what am I doing um, is it down gives you one and that turns it off down is off I think I already said that up gives you eight eight or nine and if you keep it up it will keep giving it to you but I don't know how long the uh, circuitry will last before it blows um, so if that happens you need to hit the reset do it again this seems to be significantly faster than um, clicking it because individually clicking would take this long and each time it wouldn't dispense especially with the stone button this seems to be a better option anyway ether if you like it um, uh, well, um, I'm happy. <laughs> it's the aim of this is for you to implement this into your storage room one way or another. You probably figure out a better way than I did. This is just prototype one, really, of the two clock. Um, well, that's what I call it anyway. I don't know what other people call it. Anyway, thanks for watching and, you know, like, subscribe. Only if you want to, of course. And thanks for watching my videos.